Being creative with your light when filming is challenging to say the least. Take this down under the water surface and it gets even more challenging. Now in this video I'll show you a way how you can make your lighting more creative when filming underwater. Coming up. Hi there YouTube community and welcome to another video here at the Underwater Filmmaking School. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matthias and I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based in Zurich, Switzerland. Now, the little sequence, little b-roll sequence that you just saw is about one of my newest toys and one of my dearest toys right here at this moment. It's about the uh, we find smart focus light 1000 it's something that I've picked up just recently as I was preparing for the um, underwater videographer championship here in Switzerland for those of you who have been watching this channel for a little while you guys know that I've um, made plans on competing at the Swiss underwater video challenge which will take place in October this year I've actually already started with the preparations I uh, the narration is basically done and now I'm um, writing or drawing the storyboard and as I was uh, working on the storyboard and the narration I was thinking about how I can make this video a little more special I was looking at different ways of lightening my scene underwater and I came across the set uh, we find smart focus 1000 now the special thing about this is that it actually comes with a snoot uh, module an extra module here on the top which makes you able to channel the light from this focus light to a very narrow beam and you can be very creative which uh, an option like this on a light now last week I jumped into the lake and tested this light simply because I wanted to see whether or not this is something that I can use that is going to be of any use for me during the competition and maybe even in the future on my video project underwater and I have to say that I was immensely impressed with the creative possibilities that this little light gives you. Now I'm going to show you some shots here that I've taken last week and it is really really cool how you can um, highlight a subject and how you can bring it to life and kind of keep the rest of the environment completely in the dark. For all of you who know Mr. Peanut obviously he was with me during those tests as well and we've taken some shots with him putting him into the right light and also uh, little plants, seagrass, all that sort of stuff, leaves can be illuminated quite nicely and then in uh, post-production you can just bring down the shadows and the mid-tones even more and just bring up the highlights uh, and saturate those highlights and the mid-tones a little bit more and you get some really really cool results. Now I was only playing with the smart focus light for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes on my last dive and I got some quite decent results. I'm quite happy with them. Now I've got still quite a few weeks to keep practicing using that light underwater and using it to tell the story that I want to tell. At this stage I want to say thank you to my friends at Fantix who lent me the smart focus light in the first place. I was able to test it last week and right after I came out of the water I was like I need to get that light so I got one from my friends at Fantic. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys do want to pick up one of these um, focus lights from WeFind. They're actually really really cool. I really enjoy using them. Uh, check out the link below. Now it's too early for me to make this a review on the smart focus light from WeFind because I've really only just used it that once 
but I will definitely hop into the lake again this week um, and try to find some fresh water lobsters and, and see how I can use the uh, snoot module here on the freshwater lobsters and see uh, what kind of shots I can come up with um, on these creatures here in the lake. So if you're interested in seeing what can be done with this little light here make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and as always if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button you know it does mean a lot to me. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you down there.